Atlanta County is working hard to overcome the hurricane damage. You can just ask Frank Formica, a businessman who suffered some serious damage himself during Sandy. He also happens to be chairman of the Atlantic County Board of Freeholders. And he joins us now from our studio at the Richard Stockton College. Uh, good of you to join us. Uh, in terms of the damage that your business interests suffered, you're, you're back and everything is back to normal now or not? Uh, not really. Uh, there was significant damage to our business, luckily not from the floodwaters, which was the greatest amount of flooding I ever seen in 61 years, but from uh, what was called an electrical surge from one of our power poles, and uh, we still are suffering the effects of that as uh, insurance monies are coming in dribs and drabs. So you're having problems with your private insurer or with a combination of other entities or what precisely? It's uh, my private insurer, that's correct. I think it's uh, the, everything, all the paperwork is filed. Uh, it just seems like uh, everybody is suffering from the same malady, and I think it's just an overload to the insurance companies. But, you know, for businesses like us and homeowners, it's really uh, taken some time to get everything uh, paid. You, you've also been critical, as I understand it, of FEMA's proposals regarding these new flood maps. And, and Congressman Frank Lobiondo's asked you to actually oversee some of what's going on down there in this, in this regard. Are, are you comfortable at this point with the, with the stand taken by the Christie administration on FEMA's proposals? Well, yes, I am in this respect. Uh, when FEMA's maps came out, uh, the storm actually was, when the storm hit, FEMA had already been two years in the making of a revision of their estimated or their suggested flood elevations. Uh, all that Sandy Storm did was to uh, expedite the publication of those maps and the devastation that occurred north of Brigantine from the bottom of LBI all the way up to the highlands uh, was unforeseen, untold devastation. And uh, I think the Christie administration had themselves a dilemma. You had uh, beaches and towns and tourist uh, areas that needed to be rebuilt. But if uh, the governor's office just sat on uh, what the existing flood pains were, and all that money was spent to rebuild at the existing levels, only to find out in a few months that they were going to go up to the recommended levels, all of those properties were in jeopardy of very unconscionable insurance hikes. So I think uh, he, he had to make a decision. He is a decision maker. And uh, he made one to get New Jersey rebuilt. The, uh, on the other side of the uh, thinking, we did not suffer the significant damage down toward uh, south of Brigantine. And uh, the district that I represent is uh, Atlantic City, Ventnor, Margate, Longport, Summers Point, a little bit of Egg Harbor Township. Uh, there were V zones put in. That means V like victory, only in this case it means velocity wave damage. Mm -hmm. That would have mandated that these homeowners whose homes have been depreciating in value just by the natural downtrend in the economy, uh, they would have to spend almost 100 to 150,000 to raise a house that is only assessed on the books for 80,000. Which becomes almost impossible to even consider in itself. Uh, t talk to me about the seawall controversy that's existed in a number of places where the governor has been very aggressive about talking about the need for seawalls or for build up dunes. How much of your area would you like to see protected by reinvigorated dune systems or new seawalls? Well, the flood plan, uh, flood plans that are flood mediation plans that are now being proposed are very aggressive. I think they're in line with the governor's thinking. And just for example, there was a dune that was 16 feet high uh, right on the beach on the block that I live, and those homes were untouched by any flood water. And uh, just down the road in Longport, uh, homes were devastated and uh, destroyed by waves. So I think it's a very uh, good, well thought out idea, and we just make, gotta make sure that we get it right and we still are awaiting FEMA to come with the final determination of what their maps are going to be to tell us those elevations. One last question. The summer season about to begin. How prepared, how recovered is, is your county, and, and what kind of summer do you envision? You know, I don't want to go on uh, berating any uh, national weathermen that declared our boardwalk dead because that was just a pure mistake of reporting. 
We are 100% ready. The Atlantic City Boardwalk is 4.1 miles long. I don't believe that 800 feet of it were actually affected and that was scheduled for demolition. So we are open for business uh, all the way down uh, the coast from uh, Atlantic City toward Cape May. And uh, it is going to be a nice summer and I think an invigorating one business-wise. Mr. Formica, have to leave it there. Appreciate your coming on, sir. Thank you. Thank you.